Hi everyone! So this is my first time making a video like this. Um, I felt called to share on the subject of acceptance because I think that any process of self-transformation has to start with that point of releasing resistance to what is. So it's looking at things as they are, not as they should be. And some people call that, you know, spiritual bypassing when we are, you know, trying to envision the life that we want and the things that we want um, at the expense of what is actually happening in our reality. And so often, um, you know, spirituality and manifestation is framed that way. And we're kind of taught to um, avoid the negative or the shadow or the things that we're less comfortable with in our reality. And, you know, the first step to addressing any problem, I mean, you see this in, you know, like 12 step programs that deal with addiction. You see this in, you know, when you're leaving a toxic relationship. The first step is admission and it's looking at what isn't working, what hasn't worked for you in the past. And so often we stay in destructive habits because we're kind of like insisting on making the shoe fit. And we're suffering and we're hitting the same wall over and over again. And I just don't find that any meaningful change in my life has come from willfully trying to make something different than it is. Like, if you want something to change, if you want to alter your reality, if you, you know, feel empowered that you have the, you know, the ability to shapeshift your life and mold it to the one that you want, the first way to do that is to accept it how it is, to accept your feelings about it, and to feel them fully. Because we often get blocked energetically by trying to fix something before we've even let ourselves feel the situation fully. So for example, in relationships, you know, we are dead set on the intention of making the relationship work or finding the right partnership. And we kind of like ignore or push aside the things that are not working. So we might be harboring a little bit of dissatisfaction in our partnership and, uh, you know, we keep reverting back to thoughts of like, well, you know, my partner is a good person and, and they mean well. And, you know, at the beginning, things were so great. And I'm not saying that, um, you know, once you acknowledge the negative, you just have to jump ship and, you know, your problems will disappear or your problems will disappear. But if you don't take the time to actually like voice a difficulty, uh, a point of suffering, a um, disappointment, if you don't even take the moment to acknowledge that for yourself, absolutely nothing can change. And so when we are focused on the solution, but we haven't even started by acknowledging the feelings that already exist with the way things are, then our energy becomes blocked. We're frustrated that we can't take action. We are, you know, impatient to get to the destination that we want, but we haven't even processed what about the situation really needs fixing and there's a lot of reasons that we do that you know we're afraid to see our part in it um, we're afraid to admit to ourselves how we might have stuck with, with something that wasn't working with for us for too long so acceptance does not mean that you don't try and make a change or that you don't put a plan into action to alter your reality. It means that you're freeing up the energy for an action to present itself to you effortlessly and naturally because you are no longer in the process of deceiving yourself or deceiving somebody else. And I just can't tell you how fundamental that step is. And I do tarot readings and when they are a success, and they almost always are, luckily, they are so because people say that confirms what I already knew or sometimes that's not what I wanted to hear or yeah I had a feeling I was supposed to go in that direction and it just goes to show how challenging it is to 
affirm what we already know, to listen to the voice inside. You know, we're always seeking a further proof to, you know, validate our feelings. And so acceptance is self-honesty. Um, it's, you know, radical honesty. And don't worry about the consequences. Don't worry about what you're going to do about it. Don't worry about the how until you've at least come to terms with what is. And then the how will present itself.